everybody. How I hope everything is good. I hope you have all enjoyed your time and everything. I'm also doing fine. Mm, if you are new in this family, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and become part of us. And like, share, mm, comment if you have anything. Comment in your channel and we shall discuss and share different things. Uh, today, I'm very happy. First of all, I'm very happy. Yay! You know I am happy. I'm done with the first trimester. Do you get that? Yeah, I'm done with the first trimester. And that is very nice. So, I just want us to share some few things of the, the first hectic three months. They are very, whew, those months are very hectic. But thank God, now I'm week 14. So at least I'm past that. I'm past that fatigue and the nausea and the everything. So I want, to, I want to share something with you, how to expect in, the, in, in your first 12 weeks. Actually, the weeks can be so hectic and they can be so long, but as long as you stay calm in, in, those, in those weeks, everything will be fine. So for me, I'll share with you what my cravings were, what I was going through, what I didn't like, what I liked. So just keep tuned and, and, and listen to, to what... Uh, I went through all the, in, the, in all the 12 weeks. Actually, I noted I was noting in every week that I was I was going through. So I'll be sharing with you what I went through. First of all, in the first two weeks, when you don't know anything, but when you see that your periods have missed for some days, and you're like, what's happening? So when I saw my periods have they they they, they were late by I think I think a week. Then I I, I got concerned. I was like, what's the problem? Should I check? Should I not? But because of the things that I was going through my body, the hormonal things in my body, I was feeling so tired, I was feeling sleepy all the time. So I said, I said no, let me go and check. So in that first week, uh, I, 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 I went, I checked, actually bought the, 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 the urine test, and then I tested, and then it came out positive. Yeah, it came out positive, so the, 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 the fatigue started from there. After realizing that I was pregnant, then everything now started changing. In the second week, uh, actually the, the most and most more thing that I went through in the first three, actually the first four weeks, I, I can say, it's vomiting. I was vomiting a lot. I could not put anything in my mouth. If I eat anything, I vomit. If I put anything, I vomit. Even if I was brushing my teeth like this, you brush your teeth after finishing brush your teeth, you vomit. So I vomited a lot in the, I think in week four. Uh, but to continue, I think in week five, I was having nausea. Nausea started hitting highly. I was having nausea. And nausea, by the way, doesn't, it's not like morning sickness and it happens in the morning. For me, what I was experiencing, it was feeling very very hot during the day and very cold in the night, feverish cold in the night. So in the night I was feeling very cold and I feel like I get goose pimples and I feel like I have fever. So the news was happening for me in the night. But during day I was feeling very hot during day. Uh, the other thing I was experiencing is craving for foods. Cravings. That's what I was really having. For me actually what I was craving I'm having pineapple, frozen pineapple. This is what I was craving for. Frozen, ah, actually, I want to eat some already. I still have, I ate a lot of pineapples, a lot of them. And what I was doing, I get a pineapple, I buy a pineapple from the market, I chop it in small pieces like this, then I freeze. So see, it's very hard. I freeze it, then I chew it, and it's, 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 it means like you're chewing ice ice water or something it's very hard when you're chewing but then that water that water is like you know very nice mm, the other craving i had it was popcorn popcorn is not only for the movies even for the cravers so i was craving for, for popcorn so much after that started hitting i think in week six week seven week eight week nine the cravings were so high and the other thing was coke i think i took about maybe a hundred i can say lots of coke but i think this was to supplement caffeine as as I, I used to take a lot of coffee before but when i became pregnant i could not take coffee because of the smell or something i just didn't like coffee there's something i didn't like about it but then when it came to coke all my craving went there so i think because of the caffeine in in coke 
I think it made me now supplement coffee to coke. So I took a lot of coke, a lot of them, and it's frozen. It's cold. It's very cold. This is what I liked. If it's not cold, then I could not drink. It's very cold, so I could take a lot of this. So that was also one of the cravings that I had. So I could drink lots of coke. But the other thing that I'm thankful for, it's water. This is cold water, ice cold. It's very cold. So I use also to take a lot of water. Up to now, actually, I take a lot of water. I can take up to three to five liters a day of water. So it's very, mm, it's very cold and very nice. You see, it's passing here and we're like, wow, this is so nice. And those are the cravings that they had. So this is cold water. So I could take a lot of water and a lot of coke, a lot of pineapples, a lot of popcorn, and any salty things. Actually, I liked a lot of salty things. I was like, if anything is, so, even if I was cooking food, at least I could, I could add, I could put more salt than usual. I just don't know why, but I could put more salt than usual because I just like something so salty. Apart from the pineapples, I don't know pineapples why I just like them sweet like that, but when they are frozen, I don't know. Anyway, those are some of the cravings that I had. What about young, young, young things that are not eaten but you just you just crave for? I used to crave for, you know, when it's raining in dust and that smell of dust. Oh my God, I could just be, I could just sit outside here and just wait when it rains. Then I sit here and then I smell that smell of dust. Or sometimes I could take water and then pour in the ground and then I, I and then I smell that. I don't know i don't know really the hormones what they're all about what they're up to you you crave for something which is so yanky uh the other craving that i had um, actually had my hormone of saliva my saliva was my mouth was full of saliva all the time so actually all the time i was, ha I was having something like a pad uh like pampas i can say all the time i spit i spit but it did take long it took like maybe two weeks or three weeks then it disappeared actually i went to hospital because of that because my mouth was just full of the all the time it's full of saliva full of saliva so i went to the hospital they, they told me it's normal and it just get even uh but that one stopped mm. the other thing that i had was sleepless nights imagine i'm having news there i'm having if I'm having at night, I'm feeling very cold, but there's no sleep. So I also had some sleepless nights at night, so I could take long to sleep. When that I go to bed at around 9, then I, I fall asleep at around 1 a.m. or 2. So also that, that's some of the things that I went through during my first trimester. So those are some of the things that I went through in my, my trimester, the first three, the first three months. We're happy, but I'm thankful I'm done with the, the first trimester. So be tuned and then see what the second trimester will take us. Hope to see you soon. See you in the next video. Bye for now.